Hi guys, happy Friday. Another week down and next week, can you believe that next week is our last week of school? What? It's crazy. I cannot believe how fast the time has gone by since, since everything has happened and since we've been learning from home. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy that you guys, after next week, you guys will, will officially be done with kindergarten and be ready to go to first grade. I'm so proud of you guys for everything that you've learned this year and everything you've done this year. And I have been so, so lucky to be able to teach all of you. So with that being said, I do have a book for today and it is called Babushka's Doll. Now this book was, it used to be, um, my book growing up my mom i think my mom got it at a yard sale when i was little i can even see still see the little 50 cent sticker on it from the yard sale so it was only 50 cents and she found it at a yard sale and um she used to read it to me when i was little i don't really remember exactly how the story goes because it's been so long since i've heard it but I know that it is about a doll. And I think in the story, the doll kind of comes to life. So pretty cool. So I'll read it and I hope you guys like it. Um, the author is Patricia Polacco. And I believe she is the illustrator as well. Yes. So, all right, let's get started. Babushka's Doll. It wasn't that Natasha was a truly naughty child. She just never understood why she had to wait for things. Babushka, Natasha said, for in Russian, babushka means grandmother. Please stop doing the laundry and push me in the swing. My darling child, said Bab Babushka said, I have to do the laundry first. Would you like to help me? No, said Natasha. I want to swing now. Aren't you finished yet? I want to go for a ride in the goat cart. My precious, Babushka said, I must hang up these clothes while the sun is shining. But the sun will be shining all day. I want to go now. Babushka, take me. She's not letting her grandma do the things she needs to do. She's like, come play with me. Babushka went to feed the goats. Natasha followed. But I'm hungry too, Babushka. My stomach is making noises. I want to eat now. Don't be selfish, darling, said Babushka. These poor creatures need to be fed. They cannot fix lunch on their own. Now I am finished, said Babushka, and now we will have lunch. She took a kettle down from a high shelf. Natasha looked up on the shelf where the kettle had been, and there was a little doll she had never seen before. Is that your doll, Babushka, she asked? Yes, dear, it was my doll when I was a little girl like you. Did you play with her all the time, asked Natasha. No, dear, I played with her only once. Only once. I have finished my soup now, said Natasha. May I hold the little doll just for a little while? Babushka got the doll down from the high shelf. Yes, it is just the right time for you to play with her, said Babushka. She handed the doll to Natasha. 
I'm going to the store for groceries, she said. You may play with the doll until I get back. As soon as the door closed behind Natasha's grandmother, something happened. The little doll began to move. She jumped to her feet and did a little dance. For a moment, Natasha was a bit frightened. But then the doll called, Come on, Natasha, let's go! Natasha and the doll ran and ran until Natasha could run no more. As soon as Natasha sat down to catch her breath, the doll said, Get up, Natasha! You get up now! I want to play! I'll swing you on the swing, Natasha said. Whee! The doll squealed. Push harder! I want to go higher! Natasha pushed the doll higher and higher, but soon she got tired. Don't stop, Tasha, cried the doll. Don't stop! I want you to swing me higher! <laughs> oh, no. Do you think Natasha is getting tired now? Looks like she's getting a little tired of all that playing. I'll take you for a ride in the goat cart, Natasha said. Oh, goody, Tasha, the doll chirped. And don't you slow down. You better keep going as long as I want. Do you hear me? As long as I want. Poor Natasha. Do you think that's kind of how Babushka felt when Natasha kept asking her to play with her? I think so. Soon, Natasha couldn't lead the goat cart any longer. I have to stop, said Natasha. I need to rest. Now I want to eat, said the doll. Poor Natasha was very tired, tired, but she tried her best to make lunch. Babushka's doll spilled the tea. She sloshed the soup from her spoon and she flung noodles over her head. Then she pounded her fist in the mess and laughed and laughed. <laughs> oh, that poor doll is making a mess and poor Natasha has to clean up after her. Suddenly, she stopped laughing and started to scream. My dress, Tasha, it's all dirty. I want you to wash it. You wash it right now. Natasha washed the little dress and hung it on the line. Then she ironed it and put it on, put it on the doll. You didn't do it right, said the doll. Said the doll. <laughs> My dress is all wrinkled. Natasha began to cry. I'm just a little girl, she said between sobs. I wish you were just a doll. My darling girl, a voice cried, called out. Why are you crying, my precious child? Babushka, Natasha sobbed. Your little doll came to life and she was very naughty. All she wanted to do, all she wanted me to do was work. She never let me rest. She made me iron her dress and I don't even know how. I'm just a little girl. There, there, said Babushka. You must have had a bad dream. Maybe, said Natasha. Her grandmother smiled and held Natasha closer. From now on, you can play with the little doll anytime you want. No, thank you, Babushka, Natasha said. Once is enough.
Babushka picked up the little doll and put her back on the high shelf. It looks like you had quite a day, she said softly. The little doll gave Babushka a wink and went back to being just a doll. And Natasha turned out to be quite nice after all. The end. So I think maybe, maybe when my mom read me this story, maybe she was trying to tell me that I was maybe being a little bit too needy and asking her to play too much when she was trying to get her work done. Sometimes when we're at home with mom and dad all day and, you know, we're asking them, come on, play with me, play with me. Make me, make me some lunch, make me breakfast. I'm hungry, I want a snack. Play with me, play with me. Don't you think mom and dad might get a little tired sometimes? I bet they do. And some, and moms and dads are busy people. They have lots of work to do. And so when we're always asking them to play with us and play with us and play with us, sometimes they can get a little tired. And I think that's what happened with Natasha and the doll. Natasha finally realized, hmm, maybe I was asking Babushka, my grandma, to, to play with me a little too much. Maybe I need to give her some time to get her stuff done and to relax a little bit. And then she'll have the energy to play with me. So... I really liked that story because can dolls really come to life in real life? No. So that can't really happen, but sometimes it's fun to imagine what it would be like if it could. Do you think you would want to play with that doll? Uh-uh. I know I wouldn't want to play with that doll. But I love that story and I hope you guys liked listening to it. And I will be back with another story um, on Monday. And so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. All right. Bye, guys.